there beautiful souls, Avalon here and I'm pretty excited for this month's moon box. Let me tell you, I have heard a lot of buzz, I have not watched a single opening, I wanted to be surprised but I knew that it was going to be a good one because apparently it is capturing some of the energy of Samhain, the cross quarter, Halloween, the veil thinning and just judging by the general weight of this box, this is the heaviest of all of the moon boxes. So, <sighs> it's moon box time! Yay! So, the moon box was packaged as thoughtfully and as securely as it usually is. I have simply removed it out of its outer box. The outer box, of course, has a padding layer of paper in the bottom and a padding layer of paper at the top. And it's all very snug and it doesn't move around very much in there and it's really great packaging. Let us open it. Let me turn this around so that you can see. Oh. There we have it. All the colours are tasty. I don't know what oracle deck this is from, but it is an oracle. Enter the chamber of healing. A spiritual gift of healing is coming to you now. Be open without expectation or preconceived notions and allow the healing energy to help you find the best solution for any situation that does not appear to be as it should be. Expect your miracle. <laughs> so, the letter. Let's have a quick look at the inventory, the theme, the lovely words of the Moonbox people. Whoa. Witch's Veil. Just, I, my eyes gazed upon it and it says the Witch's Veil. Wow. It just kind of gave me the, the chills, you know, the good ones. As the sun dies in the distance and the veil becomes thin, we enhance our sense of peace and connection with those around us, physically and spiritually. We seek the beautiful knowledge and wisdom offered by those who have passed. We embrace the ideal crone goddess as beautiful, strong and powerful. We know that our keys of intention are more powerful and most effective during this time. Are there areas that you are confused or struggle with while performing rituals? Are there unanswered questions? This deeply sacred time of year is our opportunity for these questions to be answered and for our guides to truly manifest in a beautiful way. We focus on ancestral magic as we step through the witch's veil. Safely and securely, let us assist you through this ancient practice and beautiful celebration of life. Lovely! Doesn't that just make you feel the Samhain spirit, the Veil spirit, the Halloween spirit? Oh. So here's the inventory. Oh my gosh, it's, no wonder it is heavy. There is an entire cast iron cauldron in here and that would be the main culprit as far as the weight goes. Uh, charcoal discs, black ritual sand, yes. Frankincense resin, copal resin. Uh, ruminant resin, yerba santa, sage, oh. and then we have dragon's blood incense, Ooh. ancestral calling spell candle and mantra, nice, I can't wait to see that, the crone magical oil, <laughs> let's just let's just revisit that one the crone magical oil uh, new sacred salt rough labradorite yes altar broom with amethyst yes totemic honoring tea and muslin bag lavender herb or elf leaf wormwood herb, 
personalised oracle reading, which we saw, parchment paper, Samhain Book of Shadows art. This has got to be the fullest of all of the moon boxes, without a doubt. They have gone above and beyond, and you can see that the creators behind this box are witch, they're authentic, they're heart-centered, and they're geared towards providing you with the most magical experience possible. Because I have never been disappointed opening up a moon box each and every time. I stop and I think, this is incredible. This is so unique. There are things in here that have been created so beautifully. You just can't buy that stuff. This really comes out of the imagination of someone who is genuinely tapped into that flow of spirit, who is consciously creating with that flow of spirit, and who has the just the initiative and the vision to proceed forward with that and to place all of that in these beautiful boxes so that people like you and me can genuinely partake in somebody else's magic. And so this is genuinely a gift. I genuinely believe that the moon box people are a gift. They are a gift. So this is the Samhain page for the Book of Shadows. It is beautiful. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. It's got the toad there. It's got the skull there. It's got acorns there. It's got the reaper down the bottom there. I'm going to bring this up close so that you can see the reaper. There you go. And then the little details down the side there. It is a beautiful page to be sure. It is something that you would see in Charmed. The big beautiful book in Charmed. Okay, so that's the first layer and then we have this beautiful deep earthy brown tissue paper there so here comes the good stuff peeling back these layers always such a joy feels like my birthday extra padding with some bubble wrap which my kids just love oh, there is a tea here so the tea is beautifully packaged. I think I will drink this tea on the eve of, of Halloween. Apple pieces, rooibos, marigold petals, cinnamon. Yummy! I can already imagine how that smells. You know when something feels so real to you. My mouth just began to water then as I imagined that smell. Oh, look at this little besom. Look at this beautiful little besom. It is so lovely. Look at that. Sweet goodness. So soft. Oh, and so fragrant. Oh, they always get 10 points for their fragrance. Oh, that's so beautifully fragrant. Yay! We have lavender and wormwood here. So lavender and wormwood, and I'll just flip these around so that you can see the lavender and the wormwood. Just lovely. Lavender is a herb that I adore using for cleansing as much as for bringing in peace, harmony, and happiness. Now, it can assist with sleep, it can assist with lifting the mood, with easing bouts of depression. There are many, many things that it is reputed to do, and I'm saying this just as regurgitated, remembered information. Uh, I'm not a specialist in the art of herbs, but I like to know about the herbs that I do use, and lavender is one of my favorites for that reason. Wormwood, oh. wormwood is one of the most interesting herbs, and it's really, it's really up there with a witch's herb. There are, there's just a list in my mind, I don't know how exactly I amassed it, but there's a list in my mind of what genuine witches herbs are. Wormwood is there, Mandrake is there, Dragon's Blood is there, uh, Belladonna is there, Dantura is there, you know what I mean? Those kinds of, a little bit of nightshade, there's just a little list of really genuinely deliciously witchy herbs and they're not all entheogens they're just 
herbs that have had or botanicals that have had such a reputation attached to them over the years and are so widely used by so many different practitioners that they hold a little bit of that cult witch energy to me and I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm assuming just from the weight and the sturdy nature of it that this is the cauldron. are important to you. It's got three little feet. This will be a perfect, perfect incense burning, petition burning cauldron or vessel. I love that. I actually really needed a second one or a third one. I like them in all shapes and sizes. They're like mortar and pestles. You have to have them in all shapes and sizes. Some for bruising, some for grinding, some for making lots, some for making little. It's all in that variety, isn't it? Okay, there's something that looks like an oil to be found. Oh my gosh! The crone oil. This is the crone oil. So let me bring that up to you to see the crone oil in all of its liquidy glory. Look at that. I must smell you. I must smell you. Won't it be nice when they finally invent some kind of smell o vision? Because trying to articulate a scent to another is just so difficult. I know what I like. Ooh! This actually really reminds me a bit of the scent in the um, Earthly Alchemy spray, Space Clearing Spray, which I really, really liked. Very uplifting. I had expected it to be warmer, but it's not warm. It's really quite fresh and uplifting, which is a surprise. It's a nice surprise. So that is the Crone Oil. We have a collection of something here. I do believe that this could be the scent. This is the ruminant and this is the sacred sand. Not to be confused with the sacred salt. It is the sacred sand. The sands of time, the sands of our ancestry. This is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful cork top. There's a little wire at the top to assist it to not come off so easily and to keep the beautiful label onto it. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. We have three kings charcoal disc here. Charcoal discs are always so handy. Depending on where you live though they can be a nightmare to store and I say this from the point of view of somebody who lives in humid, humid, humid tropical environment so I have my favorites for that reason but I used to burn any kind of of charcoal when I lived elsewhere it wasn't an issue but here where I live it is an issue holy boss <laughs> this is just so cool look at this it's really solid it's a really dry solid smudge Cool. It smells really earthy. I have to look at what was in that again. What was in the smudge? Do you think I can find it? I can't find it with my eyes at the moment, which is the nature of it, but it looks really interesting and it feels really solid. I want to bring this up close for you to see. It's just quite the boss of smudge sticks. Look at it, and the colour of it is my kind of green. It's that natural green and brown of the earth. If you were to walk through a forest around here, a rainforest, you would see that color. 
you would see bright bursts of green, yes, you would see deep, deep green, you would see moss green, and then on the floor, that is just, is, it just laden with that particular colour, and it's one of my favourite colours. I'm definitely a green person. Okay, so we've got some salt here, which I'm dying to smell. so so unusual look at the inside of that it's so unusual I don't know what it smells like it smells very healing though it does it smells like the type of salt you would put in a bath to really soak if you had sore muscles or if you just wanted to remove some of that built-up stress from your day here's the little muslin bag is really sweet. To go with the tea we have something in this blue pouch. I love how there's all this botanical matter stuck to it. Oh! <laughs> this is the rough piece of Labradorite. It's beautiful rough cut. It is so beautiful. I've only got a polished piece. Where's my polished piece? Here we go. So here is it polished and here is it rough. It still holds an iridescent shimmer to it. Oh yeah, it's got such a cool shimmer to it. Look at that. So nice. I'm really into Labradorite for the longest time. I couldn't resonate with it and then I finally found a piece that I could and then slowly began to work dedicatedly with that particular piece. And so this is only my second piece of Labradorite. I've had it in the past but because I could never work with it, I gifted it away. And it's the stone for Scorpio, is those who are in the, sun, in the sun sign, you know, moon sign or rising sign of Scorpio. So that would be me. It's my rising. Here we have copal and here we have frankincense. I'm loving these little tubes. How gorgeousness are these little tubes? Look at that. I like this a lot. I like that a lot. It's, an, it's a nice touch. We have here the candle. I love the candles that come through. I've got to smell it. Oh yes. Oh yes. It's a beautiful fragrance. It is. And so here is the candle. It just feels so sticky in a way. It's not necessarily sticky sticky but I just I love the feel of a beeswax candle. Beeswax candles are in fact my favorite type of candle to burn they are made of natural materials and therefore if you are to dispose of your candles in nature if there is any of your candle left to dispose of in nature then it integrates better into the earth because it is made of natural materials whereas toxic candles should never be placed or or disposed of in, in natural environments because it will disturb that ecosystem and that's something that I'm quite conscious of. Now if you are the type of person who believes it is unethical to utilize beeswax then I get you, I totally get you. I am not one of those people and I love beeswax and that's primarily what I use. Beeswax and if I don't have beeswax then I'll go with soy. And then finally we have a very fragrant stick in scents. It smells like man. It smells like gorgeous man. This is what man should smell like. When you walk up towards a gorgeous man, this is the scent that they should have lathered all over their body. I've made my nose dirty. Every morning, 
my I bring my children into this space and we choose one of the uh, Moonbox incenses and they smell all of them and I ask each one to decide which one they are going to choose for the day so I have three children one decides on um, you know on a different day and we wake up and burn that incense draw an oracle card have our breakfast it's a really lovely little ritual and it's a beautiful way to call the family into that uh, space and into that mindset so the kids genuinely look forward to selecting a you know an incense and they all want to be the one to sniff the incenses and chews and they're always got those little black noses because these put off a little black powder and they always like mm. it's very sweet it's very sweet and I'm going to look forward to introducing this one tomorrow I shall choose this one for us to burn and give them all a little sniff of it and I think they'll really really love it so just a sweet way of getting the kids involved so that is it and then we've got all this squishy matter here that the kids love to play with so that was the witch's veil moon box can I just say how impressed I am the quantity of herbs in here is amazing the cauldron amazing love every little tiny bit of this the little besom isn't that just so nice for Samhain for the veil for Halloween depending on where you are in the world here we will be in Beltane as the north is in Samhain but Australia has started to really get involved in the Americanized holiday of Halloween as witches it's hard not to jump on that bandwagon because it gives us an opportunity to share our witchiness in a much more public way and so it's not a bad thing I was very resistant to it at one stage going it's not the time you know and like all things I can be a little bit too rigid a little bit too traditional and this is the way um, so I have to call myself out of that from time to time so this is a brilliant brilliant selection of herbs and magical equipment tools to utilize for the Samhain Halloween veil thinning and for Beltane as well should you choose to incorporate some of these in Beltane but the the little cauldron can be a scrying bowl you can make a delicious incense out of these incenses and herbs provided you can cleanse your space your little altar setting and begin to um, to dust it away with the little besom do so in an energetic intentional way uh, you can use the the beautiful labradorite to bring that sense of mysticism and the eye of the stars um, into your rituals it's just one of those amazing things labradorite is considered to be the temple of stars um, and so I think the eye of the star uh, placing it in your ritual space casting with the salt casting with the sacred sand uh, smudging anointing this is a ritual all in one right here and a beautiful beautiful accumulation and uh, packaged presents for a witch isn't it it's a present it's a, it's just a beautiful present and uh, I'm so excited I'm so excited to use these particularly fond of these little vials might I add I'm very excited to anoint a candle with this uh, crone oil and this sand is something that I just need to work with I need it and I, I just need to work with so thanks so much for watching this particular moon box unboxing i'm so excited to put these ones to really good use i think this one is everyone's favorite moon box because of the nature of the moon box the theme of the moon box and the time of the year in which this has arrived to us all and i think that there's something very very special in that so much love many blessings happy halloween happy salmon happy beltane Mwah! please look after yourselves bye